Time Made Figures TV presents. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the camera hurt on me. A little battery, it was. And a way back to the decaling. Um, I was sticking stickers on the thing. Uh, still got quite a few. I'm not going to put them all on because uh, they look kind of like a mess, you know. I keep sticking them all on. Oh, um, during the break, uh, well, during me recharging the camera, I actually um, successfully super glued the toe pieces. These pieces here. I'm just going to take this off because I don't want it to drop off and fall somewhere. So that's. See these pieces, they do move up and down, like that they do move. But, you know, I said in the previous videos that I will uh, super glue them, because I am sick to teeth of, or sick to death of, uh, picking death scythe up, and uh, end up losing those toe pieces. And without those toe pieces, this scythe isn't complete. But, you know, I ended up super gluing them because I was fed up with picking them up. Like, they'll just fall out, you know, they won't clip in. They will clip in, but um, they won't stay there very long, like. But now they're super glued and now they're in, they'll stay. Oh, by the way, I was decaling the um, the shield. Didn't put very many decals on there, but as you can see, there's two red ones there, one red one there. Um, and if you can see that, and it looks pretty good. You know, I'm not gonna have the whole thing decaled uh, or stickered. You know, and it, having it looking a mess and. Uh, you know, I could do a lot of cool things to Death Scythe. Uh, you know, I could end up painting, doing some more painting on it. Uh, you know, to bring out the colours. Like in there, I could. Uh, I could actually do that in silver. You know, end up doing that kind of silver colour. And, uh, you know, I see where that goes. Um, Pretty much, Death Scythe is really amazing. I uh, just wanted to do this uh, cool video, you know, like, you know, decaling um, Death Scythe and, uh, you know. You know, the a couple of features that I love about this kit, um, you know, I'm glad that I could make this video. Um, on Death Scythe, and uh, one of my favorite gimmicks on this is the the opening hatch. Um, I've never had that on any model kit or any toy of the Mobile Suit series, but I am definitely happy to have this guy in in the collection and. Uh, yeah, you can probably see bits of plastic sticking out. Uh, well, they're a pain to clip off sometimes, but um, it looks really nice actually when it's all finished, done, painted, um, everything clipped off, and 
all the decals on there. I never got around to uh, putting any decals on the back of the mobile suit. Um, as you can probably see there, there's probably something to put it on a stand or something. Um, the boosters, they're not too bad. You can move them, move these in and out. Very cool. Uh, I have the wings open up like that. Stuff. But I'm I'm really glad to um, have the scythe, and it's not a bad kit. You know, when you get when you get used to building a lot of mobile suits, um, it won't get tiring. Um, you know, I'll always look forward to something new, and. Uh, you know, I'm I'm just really happy to have him. Now, this is probably the second Death Scythe figure that I have. Because uh, I, I used to have the original. I still have the original, but it's in pieces. Um, and that's how long it's been, you know, without a head or arms. But it does have legs. Or one leg actually, but I'm glad to have Death Scythe in the model kit form and yet again in figure form. Um, I really enjoyed putting this model kit together, and uh, you know I definitely recommend it to everybody. Um, you know, it's been one of the favorites of the one in one hundred. Scale kits. Um, I'm hoping to get some more endless walls uh, model kits if, you know, if there is any um, in the store. I won't mind getting the Master Grade Wing Gunner. Zero kit. Uh, that looks like a decent kit. No. Um, oh, the version car. Um, don't mind those. You know, for me, this the figure of Death South is just absolutely a wonderful character. And, uh, you know, as you can see in the back, look, there is a lot of stuff in here about this scythe. And, you know, might not be able to read Japanese, but, um, still a lot of cool stuff, and some bits are in English, like Gunnum W, Endless Waltz, a little photo there, and stuff, uh, as you can see right here. It's just been very interesting and uh you know I I absolutely can't wait to um to build some more mobile suits this year, you know. I can't wait, so I'll have to see how twenty eleven goes um this year. Um, for mobile suits, and uh, I should be able to get another one uh, probably in a month's time. Um, you know, in a month's time, like, but in the end, I pretty much love this mobile suit. You know, I took my time to usually, uh, I don't end up point any decals on them at all, I just leave them leave them blank. But for Death Scythe, I thought, why not? Why not decal it? You know, I don't want to over decal it, you know what I mean? Over decal thing, um, like put the grid thing there. And, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea to decal everything, right? But, 
got some rub on transfers here like the um yeah they are rub on transfers. Uh you got the X X well I'll say triple X G G O R I D or A I D and um, triple X G O I D and um, logo there and you got some more I'm not gonna bother sticking in decals on because uh I've always stuck a stick couple of stickers on like on there and I'm on the mobile suit.